This is Unfiltered Makeup. I'm Anne Marie, and today we're talking about what's in my travel makeup bag, spring break edition, very minimal. So I do have another video in my summer travel makeup bag that is kind of the full meal deal. I have stuff for minimal makeup, but then I also have stuff for an entire photo shoot. So I've got all the makeup in there that I would take on vacation. If you're looking for a vacation travel friendly, a little less stuff, a little less room, easy to throw in and put on, I've got the perfect solution for you today. Everything here is cruelty-free and vegan, and we've also got our SPF sun protection in here as well. So this little small bag has everything you need. Let's jump into the video and see what's inside. The first most important thing that you are going to pack in your travel makeup bag is your skin protection. So that's right, you need some SPF. On my trip, I will be taking this Live Tinted Hugard 3-in-1 Mineral Sunscreen Moisturizer Primer SPF. So I have tested this out just to make sure that my skin didn't react to it, that it layered under foundation, and that it looked good alone. So even though it's still in the box, I actually did pull this out, test it out. I was quite surprised that it was a kind of orangey peach-ish color. And I was a little bit worried about how that would look, but it actually does blend out very nicely. It doesn't stay really, it's, it's a tinted moisturizer, but it doesn't really stay looking like that orange color. So you can see I've just rubbed it into my hand. It, it is nice and moisturizing, which is great for someone like me who has dry skin, and it does work as a makeup primer. So kind of the best of all worlds here. I am still trying it out, it's new to me. So again, I've tested it to make sure that it does work, but so far so good. And I'm really going to put it to the test here on vacation. This is fragrance free, vegan, clean and reef safe. So this is a great option. I do love that it's in the pump, easy to dispense. I can't say more on this because I have only kind of used it first impressions, but what I saw of it, I liked, and I will really be putting it to the test soon. And I will update you, of course. So you can see that Hugard, there's no white cast. It, it Like I said, it's very moisturizing and it has a nice texture for primer. The reason I chose this one actually is because it looks great alone or with makeup layered on top of it. My second choice I'm gonna mention here, depending on what you're into, I'm not bringing this one, but I do use this one very often. This is the Elf Skin Sun Touchable Woe Glow. This is an SPF 30, and it's also a primer sunscreen moisturizer. I love this one and it works great under makeup, but it doesn't look that great by itself. So it is, we'll do it on the other hand. Um, it is also tinted, less orange than the Hue Guard, but um, when it rubs in, it is still beautiful, but so glowy. And if you, I mean, even with dry skin, it's just like, it's a bit much, uh, the glow doesn't really show up on my hand too much, but it almost makes your face look kind of like too shiny, too greasy if you just wear it alone. So that's my take on it personally. Uh, I don't like it alone, but it does work great for layering. So that's something, another option for you, again, cruelty-free and vegan that you can bring along as your sunscreen if you're layering it. I, I personally don't recommend this Woe Glow by itself, but a great product nonetheless. And I wanna give you a couple options because we're talking minimal here. And so if you want to be able to just put on some some tinted moisturizer sunscreen and be good to go, then that is why we're throwing in the Live Tinted. Now, if you want minimal makeup, but you still do like to wear a foundation for whatever reason, I have the Born This Way Healthy Glow SPF 30 Moisturizing Skin Tint. So this is good for dry skin, but it does work on really all skin types. It's 24 hour wear, so it claims. 
don't wear your makeup for 24 hours. It's vegan, UVA, UVB protection, and all, all day hydration. Uh, make sure you do this one. It's one you really need to shake well. Shake it very well. It does separate. But I will say I don't use this one alone as SPF because I apply it in more of a thin layer. And if you don't apply the full half of a teaspoon, then you don't get the full SPF protection. So that is why I still wear sunscreen underneath it. But this is great because it is in a plastic squeeze tube and you can just squeeze it out. And because it's plastic, it's lighter weight and easy to travel with. So this is a great one to just throw in your makeup bag. You don't have to worry about it getting broken. It's a little more lightweight. And uh, like I said, great kind of for all skin types, especially works well for normal to dry skin. And I just think like this is a great put in your bag, squeeze it out, put it on with your fingers, put it on with a brush, put it on with a beauty blender, however you prefer to put it on. It works always. So throw that in your bag if you're someone who needs a little more coverage or prefers to wear some more foundation maybe to dinner out or something like that. It's perfect for your travel makeup bag. I did throw in a concealer because if you don't want to wear foundation, but maybe you're just someone who uses a little bit of concealer under the eyes or to spot conceal and blend it out, but don't do the full foundation, maybe you'll pack a concealer instead. I am including the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer. I do have a video review on this one and it is not my favorite, but it works okay and I think it's a great one, good size for travel. Um, has the doe foot applicator. So again, it's not my absolute favorite, but it's a pretty medium coverage. It's not too full cover coverage. And that also works for if you just want to put on concealer and not do the full face of foundation. It's a good one for just wearing concealer alone. It blends out very nicely and looks pretty natural. So it also is more hydrating which is great for someone like me with dry skin, though I do think any skin type could probably wear that one. So you could either go for the full face of foundation and throw concealer on with it. You could go just for the concealer or more than likely what I will probably do is just go for the foundation and not necessarily use the concealer. I don't use concealer every day. I don't use it all the time, but you know, sometimes you're traveling and you get dehydrated. Maybe you get some dark circles or something. You stay up too late maybe have a couple of drinks and your skin's not the most hydrated. So it's, it might be nice to have it. If I was leaving something out, I will say for me personally, I could skip the concealer. I could leave that out. But while we're still talking about base, bases, the face base, I have one more thing. I'm not throwing in a primer. The primer is in that sunscreen, right? But what I am throwing in is the Super Spritz by Vacation. This is the SPF Face Mist. And this works great for applying over makeup. You don't wanna use this as your base foundation, but as you wanna apply and touch up throughout the day, this is a spray uh, sunscreen and it works really well without disturbing the makeup. And you can just shake it up and apply it all over. You can apply it in a part in your hair so that it doesn't burn. Um, which is a great tip, by the way. Powder sunscreen also works great for the part in the hair and things like that. Uh, you know, make sure you get your ears. You can use it on your um, neck and chest, but it's this one does have a fragrance. If you're sensitive to fragrance, you might not like it, but it does smell like summer. It smells to me like summer and I just love it. So this is also um, cruelty-free and vegan and it is, perfect for throwing in your bag on the go. You can put it in your bag to carry with you. It's not too big. It is 2.2 fluid ounces. So make sure you have your sunscreen. Keep your skin safe first and foremost. Now we've covered the base of the face. Let's add our blush, our bronzer, any highlighters. So again, we're going kind of minimalist here, but still bringing the products in case you wanna use them. So I would be bringing my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Unlocked Elephant Palette. Now this one is a holiday one that's past holiday, so not available anymore, but they do 
or did have these collections that launched again this past holiday. Um, but it doesn't have to be this specific palette. What you're looking for is a palette that has enough products in it that's a small manageable size that is durable enough to not break. So this is a nice sturdy metal palette. The other reason I included this is because this one comes with a mirror, a great big, a good quality and large mirror. So instead of having to pack a mirror in case you need to do makeup on the go, this one has a great mirror included so you don't have to pack something else. On top of it, this one has two blushes, a bronzer, a highlighter, and two finishing powders. So this for me is all the products I need because I can use bronzer. I have two choices of blush. I wouldn't need to bring that. This palette happens to have it. Highlighter, I could skip it, I don't need it. If you like highlighter, you've got your powder here. And then the finishing powders um, both work for also using, I, won't, I will not be bringing like a loose setting powder for the concealer. I probably won't really use powder. If I do use the concealer though, I will set it with just one of these finishing powders, which isn't necessarily the most ideal choice, but I've done it, it totally works, um, especially with that foundation, I mean with that concealer. I don't feel like the the um, Healthy Glow Too Faced Born This Way Healthy Glow, I don't feel like I personally need a powder with it with my dry skin and everything. So it's not a, nece a necessity for me. You know if it's easy for you. Um, if you are also do need a setting powder, you don't need to bring a loose one. You can also bring a pressed setting powder, which is easier to travel with though. Um, a loose one, if you have a small container of it, of course that works. So you gotta bring the products that work for you, but as bring as few as you possibly will need. So the other thing I will be using the bronzer for is actually, and even any of the finishing powders or the highlight, they will work, especially the bronzer um, in the crease for a transition shade. Some of the other ones work as highlighter around the eyes. So I will not be bringing an eyeshadow palette. I will be just using this for the minimal look. If you don't have this if you don't have this palette, this isn't the exact products you use, just look for a palette that does include something like a face palette that includes a bronzer and a blush. And even if you just have a duo, that's really all you need. You could also look for a face palette that has a bronzer, a blush, and some eyeshadows if you are someone who wants to bring eyeshadows along. So they definitely have those and then it's easier to travel with, you don't need too much. But if you have a bronzer, you can use that as an eyeshadow or even just in the, in the crease and use it as a transition shade. So that again, this palette is really all I'm going to need. I do have a little bit of a eyeshadow if I want to go with more than just the bronzer in the crease, I am bringing the Charlotte Tilbury Amber Gold Eyes to Mesmerize Cream Shadow. And this is also cruelty free and vegan. In this, I said the shade Amber Gold, I believe already. But so this one is great because you can apply it with a brush. You can also apply it with your fingertips. It's one of those one and done shadows. It's not too colorful in this one, but it's just kind of a nice bronzed kind of kiss, especially if you have brown eyes, green eyes. Uh, I mean, any any color eyes actually is gonna work great with, with the amber gold. So it's easy to put on with your finger. You could also put it on with a brush depending on how you prefer it. But something like this is, again, a great travel companion because you could do it with your finger and not need more than that. So that will be a great one and done. You can use the bronzer for the crease, you don't need it. And um, you can put it under, I do have this on today, you can put it under the lash line kind of as a liner. So great option to have something like this. I do have a second suggestion if you are not into um, cream shadows or you don't want the little pot. This one I find the packaging is glass and really sturdy. Don't mind bringing that at all. But I do have a suggestion to bring an eyeshadow stick, which is also even easier. You can apply it, kind of blend it out with your finger or a brush. This one is 
the Milani Gilded Eyeshadow Stick. These kind of, um, once they set, will last all day, but any eyeshadow that you work, if any eyeshadow crayon that you like will work. This is just um, a good, easy one to throw in your kit, your makeup bag, throw it in, put it on, quick and easy, last all day. So I will not be bringing that. I would choose either this the crayon eyeshadow stick or a cream eyeshadow pot. You choose what you want to do. You can apply both kind of this one applies more and you just have to blend it with your finger. This one you need the whole finger and you'll have to wipe wipe your finger off, keeping that in mind as long as you have somewhere to do that. Um, but both you can apply with fingers, use with fingers or brushes. So the choice is yours, but the less you know brushes and things like that that you need to bring, the more minimal, the easier it is to pack and make sure you have everything you need. So this is my choice this trip, though something like this is a great option as well. I will be throwing in an eyeliner. Um, totally not necessary. Don't know if I'll use it. I do have a mini that is getting minier and minier because I, I use this one a lot. This is the Urban Decay Glide On 24-7 pencil in the shade zero. Mine's very very teeny tiny now so it's perfect for travel. Um, make sure you sharpen it before you go because this one um, is a like a wooden sharpenable pencil so you want to make sure that it is sharp the whole time through or then you have to bring your sharpener with you so usually if I sharpen it before I go it can last me the entire vacation as long as it's not too long so I will be throwing that in here again if we needed to leave something out I could leave this out but it's so easy to throw in there and you can do a lot with it and then to finish off the eyes, we need some mascara. So any mascara that you like, if you have a travel one, it's a great time to either use it up or open it up and start using it. I will be bringing this full size one because I want to continue to use it up. This is the Polite Society Greatest Lashes of All Time Mascara. Um, if you've been to my channel before, I'm sure you've seen this before because I've used this many times. I've said before, I like this mascara. I don't love it. I do think it's a great everyday wear mascara. So it's definitely not something if you want bold lashes, it's not going to give you that. But if you just want kind of some minimal your lashes, but better use this one and I'm not necessarily recommending it, but I'm not not recommending it either. I probably will not repurchase this, but I will use it. Whatever your favorite mascara is, throw that one in there. For eyebrows, I will be bringing my Florence by Mills Tint and Tame Eyebrow Pencil. This is um, in the shade Medium Brown, and I do have a video all about testing this product. I also um, have kind of a trio of products that I use, including this and two other products. But when I want to just be more simple and more minimal, I skip the gel, I skip the, the liner pen or the, the eyebrow pen, especially I'm using the NYX eyebrow pen and it has started leaking when it lays on its side. So I'm not going to bring that in a travel makeup bag because I'm worried that that will break, spill, get all over this because it is a cream product. Uh, I don't have to worry about it spilling, breaking, making a mess, any of that stuff. So I will be bringing this one. It's got the spoolie on the end of it, so you don't need to throw in anything extra for that. That's all you need. And I do have that on my eyebrows today, just that alone. So it works. It works great alone. Sometimes I just use extra, but... <laughs> That's an easy one. Any any eyebrow pencil that or powder that you use will do. If you are someone who doesn't really need product in your eyebrows, you can skip that altogether. I personally have very sparse, thin, not a lot of hair brows that need extra help, so I do need an eyebrow product. Now on to the lips. I am bringing technically three lip products, so this might not feel very minimal, but let me explain myself. So I will be throwing in my Dr. Pawpaw. Um, this is the multi-purpose balm. So 
You can use it for your lips, skin, cuticles, and beauty finishes, like kind of highlights on the face and things like that. If you like a like um, balmy highlight or kind of the wet look, you can use this. This is 100% um, natural, cruelty-free, and vegan. And I will be bringing this because it does work as a balm, but I also use this at night, in the morning, kind of a skin prep. It's just a, it's just a simple, like, clear, I think they do have ones that come tinted, but it's just like a clear gloss, it's very thin, you can't even see it. It's a very thin balm that's perfect for uh, dehydrated lips and traveling often leaves us dehydrated. So um, something that you can use like this kind of does double duty. I will always keep something like that in my bag. Next, what I will be packing is my BK Beauty um, lipstick in the shade Acceptance. And I have shown this a lot because it's in and actually several of these projects are in my Out the Door in 24 um, panning project. So I will link that if you're interested in it. But if you watch those, you know all about several of these products already. But I will be bringing that, this lipstick, I think it's a very nice hydrating lipstick. So I like to have that, again, dry lips, things like that. Uh, easy to wear, easy to apply, nice, fun, kind of that magnetic component component so it's nice and sturdy uh, so you don't worry that it's gonna like fall fall open in your in your travel makeup bag you feel like it's going to remain closed and not get everywhere so that is why I'm bringing that if I had one in my collection I would instead be bringing a lip and cheek multi stick so what I do have in my collection is, this is cruelty free, but this one is not vegan. And this is the only thing that I'm showing you today that isn't vegan, but I just wanna call out the style of the product. So this is um, the Multi-Stick in Tenderly, the Ilia Multi-Stick in Tenderly, and this is for cheeks and lip. So this one is, like a roll-up cream product and you just can swipe it on cheeks and lips which is perfect for travel you know it's kind of big for lips but you can definitely just put it on and or put it on your finger and apply it and then you can put it on cheeks this one it swatched nicely on my hand but when i blend it out um I feel like it just never really shows up. It just kind of disappears. And it could be the color, it could be the sheerness of the formula. I personally um, wouldn't repurchase this, but what I'm mentioning is the product itself. Look for a cheek and lip multi-stick so that you can use something for your lips and your cheeks. So what I'm going to show you is, this is cruelty-free and vegan. This one is the Persona. This is the bronze multi-stick. This is in the shade Dune. And again, if you've seen my channel before, you've probably seen me use this. I, this is like my all-time favorite cream bronzing product. Absolutely love it. But they have this in a cream blush formula and you can use that on your lips and that is uh, cruelty free and vegan as well. So check out the Persona multi-stick or the cream blush and then you could use that on lips and cheeks instead of a one use product. So when we're going minimal we want to look for multi-use products. Technically yes you can apply a cream lipstick on your cheeks as blush. I think this one is too creamy and emollient to really use as a blush. It just would kind of be, sticky is not really the right word, but it would blend out, pull away, not quite the right consistency that I would like for a cream blush. So if you had that, you could use your multi-stick for lip and cheek and have even less product. Um, then again, if you have the palette for your face palette that has blush and bronzer in it anyway, then it might not be necessary to get a, a duo. But again, if we're looking to minimize products, that's looking for something that you can use multi-use in multi-places, um, then you could check out something like that. But I will be bringing, again, my BK Beauty lipstick. And then my third product is um, another 
another product that's in my project pan, so I won't dwell on it, but this is a uh, Michaela and Glam Light collab lip gloss that I'm trying to use up and it layers well over the BK Beauty lip lipstick, but it's opaque enough that it looks beautiful on its own as well. So I will be throwing that in because then I have the choice of a lighter lip gloss versus a lipstick. So that is all of the products. Now I do have a few tools that I'll be bringing and it's not much, but I'll just show you. So it all fits in that one bag. I'm just showing you what I would bring. I will be bringing a little velour puff. I don't use these all the time, but it's good for travel because you can use it. If you're done with it, you can even toss it while you're there. But these are excellent for touch up. They work on powder, but even if you don't have anything on it, you can kind of um, dab and absorb oil with these. So I will be throwing one of those in there. And then again, I've purposely chosen, chosen products that don't need a lot of tools. So I am bringing five brushes and I don't even think I need all of them, but um, this little set here is just a profusion, pal uh, profusion travel set that I believe um, maybe my sister gifted it to me. I'm not really sure, but I think it came to me via a gift from a family member. I don't think I bought it. I'm pretty sure this was this was a gift. So I have washed all these. These are clean and ready to go. I have traveled with these before. They've lasted for years. And then also my tried and true e.l.f. stipple brush, which is a, in my opinion, a versatile brush that works for a lot of different products. So I, and this is the, I do think this is a full size, but it's a small brush. You can see this is the travel size of the Profusion and this is the e.l.f. And they're really, they're really no bigger than like the size of my hand there. So these are, these are great for travel and they fit in that bag. So I have the, they're not labeled or anything, but this is just like a loose fluffy brush that's going to work great for powders. Um, you can use it for blush, bronzer, and finishing powder. Just make sure you clean, like clean it off before you switch over on the products. Just use, um, you can just even kind of rub it on your hand to clean it off or on a, um, like a makeup eraser, which I will be bringing some makeup erasers with me. You can, you can just kind of wipe them off on there or even like some, like a Kleenex or something like that, just to kind of clean them so you don't get the products too muddy together. But these, these especially hourglass powders, um, they don't really muddy together. So you're okay kind of mixing them, which is another reason that I bring them, bring that palette because it's pretty goof proof. It's pretty user friendly. So I just have one powder brush that's gonna work for that whole powder compact. And then I have the stippling brush that will work for the foundation and could also be used for blush to stipple on the brush. So that is um, all I really need. Then for the eyes, I will be bringing um, the, these are the two eye brushes. So this one's like a liner brush. It's a pretty stiff one. You could technically use it for eyebrows as well. If you had like a powder that you used your eyebrows for, um, you can do it like a liner. You can also do this in the crease, which will apply it um, more concentrated. And then you can blend it out with another brush, even, even the big fluffy one, and or you can use your finger, things like that. So. This one I could probably skip. It's so small, so easy. I'm gonna throw it in there. Then this one is a smaller, firmer brush, which is perfect for applying that cream eyeshadow. If I don't use my finger, it will work great for applying that. It can also work as a, you know, it's like a flat shader brush. So it could also work for applying like the, any of the hourglass powders, but especially like the finishing ones, if you wanted to apply those um, as like a inner corner highlight and things like that. So that works great for that. And then this is kind of, again, a multitasker brush, um, but this one will work 
it's a small kind of concealer brush. So if I need to blend out the concealer, I can use this brush or it does have a doe foot to apply. So I may not need this brush, but it could actually, uh, it could work for eyeshadow as well. And um, if you could use the stipple brush to blend out your concealer as well, but you could blend this out. You can use the puff to help blend it out and you don't need more than that. So if we're going to go on vacation, that's all we need. We don't have um, a lot of eyeshadow choices. So you get kind of one look and it makes it easier to decide when you're getting ready for the day, what you're going to look like, what your look is going to be because that's all you have to choose from. So it just makes it easy on you. You know what you're gonna wear. Now, if you do need a little more variety, feel free to throw in like an eyeshadow quad, an eyeshadow duo. Um, if you're looking for some, some colors, just a small palette, you can get something like a small magnetic palette that you can put your own, um, sh you can put your own eyeshadows in, you can put any like blush or bronzer pans, you put your magnetic pans in here. If you just want to take something small, you could do something like that with a magnetic palette. I won't be doing that this time, but I have done that for eyeshadows before. You can also look for small, really colorful, versatile palettes. So one that I looked for in my own collection that I don't plan on bringing but it still fits in the makeup bag. Um, if I wanted to bring it and I needed more color and I wasn't going completely minimal, I do have this small sized margarita palette from Glamlight and it's got, you know, transition shades and browns and shimmers and mattes, but it's also got really bright fun colors as well. So this is something because of its size and its versatility, I could see throwing in my makeup bag if I felt like I was too restricted and it would be a great choice to just throw something like that again a smaller quad or something like that if you are looking at this and feeling stifled with your creativity so of course do what works for you but that's all I feel like I really need I did also have um one more, if you were going out for the evening and you didn't bring the eyeshadow palette but you needed to kind of bump up your look, you could also do something like the Urban Decay Moon Dust Sparkly Eyeshadow and this is in the shade Space Cowboy, but this is like a great kind of topper that you could put over the cream eyeshadow and just amp up your look kind of for evening just or in the day for fun, wherever you want, but something like that, like an eyeshadow topper single that you could throw in that is, again, very minimal. And all of that included could just fit that into our small little makeup bag here. Just zips up, throw, throw it in your suitcase. Don't worry about things breaking, spilling, all of that good stuff. So easy to pack, doesn't take up a lot of thought and doesn't take up a lot of room. And with that, you have all of the things you need for a minimal travel makeup bag that is perfect for spring break. If you liked this video, please do give it a thumbs up. And while you're here, go ahead, click that subscribe button. I'd love to have you. I will be back next week with a new video, but until then, take care of yourself.